Hello everyone. Welcome to Natcho Cure. Today we are going to discuss rare low carb superfood jicama. It is much healthier replacement for potato. Make sure you watch the video till the end so that you won't miss any important information about this rare superfood. Jicama is a tuberous root vegetable with thick golden brown skin like brown beet. It is a climbing plant and it is technically a part of pea family. But the part we ate is only root. It is white inside and tastes crispy, nutty, juicy, and slightly sweet like an apple, but not as sweet. It is cross-fed between a potato and a pear, but with a lot fewer carbs. Others compare it with the water chestnut. Jicama makes a great low-carb potato replacement. It is a little starchy on the scale of low-carb foods. but is still low enough in carbs that it can fit into a low carb or keto lifestyle originally grown in mexico jicama eventually spread to the philippines and asia remember part that you eat is only the root it requires a long growing season with no frost so it thrives in locals that are warm year around jicama is pronounced he kumu or he kumu and goes by many other names including chinese potato mexican potato yam bean mexican water chestnut leaf cup let's see what are the health and nutrition benefits of jicama so that you will consider incorporating in your food one jicama is dense in nutrient it really has an impressive nutrient profile most of its calorie come from carb the rest are from very small amounts of protein and fat Jicama contains many important vitamins and minerals as well as significant amount of fiber. In fact, one cup that is 130 grams contain following nutrients: 49 calories, 12 grams of carb, 1 gram of protein, 0.1 gram of fat, 6.4 grams of fiber. Vitamin C 44% of RDI, folate 4% of RDI, iron 4% of RDI, magnesium 4% of the RDI, potassium 6% of RDI and manganese 4% of RDI. Jicama also contains small amount of vitamin E, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin B6, pantothenic acid, calcium, phosphorus, zinc and copper. This root vegetable is low in calories and high in fiber and water. making it weight loss friendly food just one cup 130 grams contains 17% of rdi for fiber for man and 23% of the rdi for woman jicama is also an excellent source of vitamin c an essential water soluble vitamin that acts as antioxidant in your body and is necessary for many enzyme reactions 2 abundant in antioxidants Jicama contains several antioxidants which are beneficial plant compounds that help to prevent cell damage. 1 cup 130 grams of jicama contains nearly half of the RDI of the antioxidant vitamin C. It also contains the antioxidant vitamin E, selenium and beta carotene. Antioxidants help protect against cell damage by counteracting free radicals. the harmful molecule that causes the oxidative stress oxidative stress has been linked to the chronic diseases including cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and cognitive decline fortunately diets high in antioxidant rich foods like jicama can help fight oxidative stress and may decrease the risk of developing chronic diseases In fact many studies have linked antioxidants in fruits and vegetables to lower risk of heart disease diabetes obesity and alzheimer 3 jicama may boost heart health jicama has numerous nutrients that make it an excellent choice for improving heart health it contains a significant amount of soluble dietary fiber which may help lower cholesterol levels by preventing bile from being reabsorbed in the intestines as well as preventing the liver from making more cholesterol jicama also contains potassium which helps lower the blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels additionally jicama may improve circulation because it contains iron and copper both of which are necessary for healthy red blood cells one cup contain 0.7 mg of iron and 0.62 mg of copper jicama is also a natural source of nitrate Studies have linked nitrate consumption 
from vegetables to increase circulation and better exercise performance. Furthermore, one study in healthy adults showed that consuming 16.6 ounces that is 500 ml of jicama juice reduced the risk of developing blood clots. Promotes digestion. Dietary fiber helps increase in bulk of stool. This helps it move more smoothly through your digestive tract. 1 cup 130 grams of jicama contains 6.5 grams of fiber which can help you to meet your daily goals. Additionally, Zikama contains a type of fiber called inulin. Studies show that inulin can increase the frequency of bowel movement by up to 31% in those with constipation. Zikama also higher in water which may help ease constipation. Foods with high water content like Zikama can help you to meet your daily fluid needs. 5. Prebiotic Good to your gut bacteria Jikama is high in inulin which is a prebiotic fiber. A prebiotic is a substance that can be used by the bacteria in your body resulting in health benefits while your digestive system is unable to digest or absorb prebiotics such as inulin. The bacteria in your gut can ferment them. A diet high in prebiotics increase in the population of good bacteria in your gut and decrease the number of unhealthy bacteria. Studies have shown that the type of bacteria in your gut may affect your weight, immune system and even mood. Eating prebiotic foods promote the growth of type of bacteria that may lower the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, obesity and kidney disease. 6. May reduce the risk of cancer. Zikama contains the antioxidant vitamin C and E, selenium and beta carotene. Antioxidants neutralize the free radicals that can lead to the cell damage and cancer. Also, Zikama is good source of dietary fiber. 1 cup 130 grams contain more than 6 grams of fiber. Dietary fiber is well known for its protective effect against colon cancer. Additionally, Zikama contains a prebiotic fiber called inulin. Prebiotics may reduce the risk of cancer by increasing the number of healthy bacteria in gut, increasing the production of protective short-chain fatty acids and boosting the immune response. In addition to being a beneficial type of fiber, inulin has been shown to act as an antioxidant that protects the gut lining. 7. May help weight loss. Zikama is a nutrient-dense food. It contains a high number of nutrients but a relatively low number of calories. Zikama is high in both water and fiber which helps fill you up. Additionally, the fiber in Zikama may help keep your blood sugar steady. Fiber slows digestion which helps to prevent blood sugar levels from rising too quickly after eating. Insulin resistance is a major contributor to obesity. It happens when your cells become less sensitive to insulin, making it harder for glucose to enter the cells where it can be used for energy. Instead, the glucose stays in your bloodstream, raising your blood sugar level. Zikama also contains the prebiotic fiber inulin which has been linked to weight loss and shown to impact hormones that affect hunger and fullness. Therefore, eating Zikama may not only increase the type of gut bacteria that aid weight loss but it may also help you feel more satisfied after the meal. 8. Extremely versatile Zikama can be eaten raw or cooked and used in a wide variety of dishes. After removing the tough brownish pill, the white flesh can be cut into slices or cubes. Here are some way to add Zikama to your diet. You can use Zikama to add flavor and texture to variety of dishes. Try adding it to a Mexican fruit salad or thinly slicing it to your some crunch to a vegetable salad. Some other easy way to prepare Zikama include thinly slicing the Zikama, sprinkling it with the sea salt and lime juice and serving on the top of avocado, sauteing it and tossing it with other vegetables such as broccoli and carrots, using it as a substitute for water chestnut in a stir fry. Add it to your vegetable salad for extra crunch, combine it with mango, pineapple or papaya for the tropical fruit salad, cut it into thick slices and serve with a dip like glucamol or hummus. Add it to your vegetable platter. Stir fry 
Fry it with sesame oil and rice vinegar. Sprinkle it with lime juice and chili powder for the spicy snack. Jikama fries are very famous. Jikama has a crunchy texture when raw and it doesn't cook very well if you just bake it from raw. Because of this, it is best to boil it first and make it softer and close to a texture of potato then bake or air fry afterward. Important note, for people interested in trying Jikama, it is essential to know that only the root vegetable is safe to eat. The rest of the plant including beans and flowers are toxic. Summary Jikama is a healthy food to include in your diet. Jikama is a starchy root vegetable that people describe as tasting like a sweeter and juicer version of potato, apple and pear. It is high in several nutrients, fiber and antioxidants which may provide health benefits including improving digestion, weight loss and reduce risk of diseases. It has essential vitamins and minerals. Zikama may be a good choice for people with diabetes or those with a low sugar diet. The root vegetable is safe to eat cooked or raw and can add texture to a wide variety of meals. Zikama is tasty and crunchy and can be eaten by itself or paired with many other foods. Given all the benefits that Zikama has to offer, you should consider incorporating it into your diet. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss more videos of superfood and other natural healthier food and much more. Check out the playlist of superfood on my channel and I will see you in the next video. Take care, eat healthy and stay healthy.